What is up, guys? Slippy here, and I'm bringing careers featuring Mont against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. And in this video, I'm doing my first ever live commentary, so my bad if you hear stuff in the background. I've never done a live com before, and I'm probably just going to be uploading the whole video. But you see right here, we are on kick blocking. And hopefully they don't make this. And if you guys have any suggestions for like for me to talk about, I guess, on a live commentary, because these are really new to me. Like I watch people that do them, and they usually just talk about the game. But I've never done it before. This is a first time. Like it'd be easier if it was like a let's play, but they kick it to the back of the end zone. So we're just gonna kneel it here. I did start this before field I started this before and I got to like week five I believe but when I tried to put the video into Sony Vegas today it messed up see that block right there for Peyton Manning so he doesn't get sacked he dumps it down to Eric Decker for a nice 18 yard gain but like I said I tried to put it stopped responding and then I tried getting some other stuff and I really wasn't a fan of them so I'm just gonna do straight live commentaries and upload them right to YouTube so if this works out and people enjoy the video, there should be no problem. And I could probably do one of these videos every day, but you see a nice deep pass to Jacob Tammy for a nice gain of 43 yards. But in the other one, when I started this, I only got the ball like max 20 times, minimum probably like 12. And I don't really like to change the player call for the pass as you see me drop a wide open pass right there. That probably could have got taken in for six. I really don't like calling for the ball because I don't want to have 30, or not 30, but like 10 receptions a game. I'm probably going to get jammed right here, so I'm probably going to try to cut it outside, and that doesn't work. And I fumble, and it is recovered by Hayward, but he is taken down right away. So my first carry and drive in the NFL were not very successful, but we got a punt return here. In my other one, I was doing really good with the returns through four games. I believe I had two punt returns and two kick return touchdowns, which is pretty good. And I averaged about 60 yards a game rushing, which isn't great, but it will do. But I don't get that kick return too far, maybe like 10 yards if that. But <clears throat> breaking tackles after the play. Wish I could have done that during the play, but you see here I'm just going to be doing a play action because our offense is obviously going to be ran through one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Peyton Manning it is almost picked off by Ryan Clark, I believe that is. And we are pretty much doing the same exact play, it looks like, but they look like they're about to be blitzing, which they blitz a fair amount of people. And it is a dropped pass right there by Eric Decker. I noticed with these sliders I have, if you guys are interested in what sliders I'm using, I'm going to leave them in the description of every video. I'm using Moonlight Swamis. He posted them about two weeks ago, I believe. And I missed a the block there, but Eric Decker goes right through everybody anyways and gets the first down. So Moonlight Swami. Obviously, it's all together because you can't put spaces in a YouTube name. And I just screwed up that. Pass the ball. That's probably about to get picked off. Nope. I don't get how they keep dropping a bunch of picks. Their interceptions are at like 40 something, and our team's is at like 28 or yeah, 27 ish. I don't even remember. But you see a big block there. I juke outside. I only pick up about five yards. Yep. Exactly five yards right there. And again, we're going right to the pass. But I don't know. For the Broncos, I'm really not a fan of playing for this team because I barely get the ball. You see me wide open, and I get about a 14-yard gain right there, which isn't bad. We are in field goal position right now, but I'm going to screw it. I'll just do this play right here. I see room up the middle, and oh, got right through there, and I get the first down, I believe. Yep, exactly 10 yards. Perfect amount for the first down. So that was a successful run right there, but we are going straight back to the pass plays. Wish we could do more runs, but it's whatever. He, oh, I thought that was to me. I think it was, but Eric Decker just stole that with one hand behind his back. Phenomenal catch, but if I got that, he probably could have picked up a block and we could have maybe have got into the end zone. I'm wide open over the middle, and I drop another easy pass, man. That is bullshit. I don't care if you have like a 12 catching, you should be able to catch that pass. 
But be sure, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have any suggestions for my live commentaries, just leave it in the or the comments. I'm gonna send the description. We get a flag on them. I almost just screwed that up because I was just clicking A to get through it. But we're on the one yard line, first and goal, just under three minutes left in the first, and I end up getting a receiving touchdown right there, straight out of the backfield on a block and release route. So that puts us up seven to three. And so this gives us an opportunity to go up two possessions if we can score a touchdown and exactly one touchdown if we can get a nice field goal out of this. But oh, it's play f act or it's a fake. I almost said it's play action. But I'm ooh, did he catch that? Or get in bounds for that? No, he did not because you see our offensive line right there. But I guess their uh, punter has a good accuracy, which is pretty surprising for this game. Peyton Manning with a click, quick pass, and Eric Decker ends up driving it once again. That's like three times this game already. See here, we're going right to the halfback dive. If I could get outside here, I might be able to get some yards, but I am not able to. I am stopped instantly by Larry Foote for absolutely no yards on that play. But hopefully this play, Peyton Manning can get it to Hill. He looks like the sure first down, but I'm wide open over the middle. I get the first down and just a little more. Three receptions, 28 yards, and I believe I have like four carries. 15 yards, which isn't great, but it'll do for right now, I guess. And on a first and 10, Peyton Manning hits Roy Williams for a nine yard gain. In my last one, Roy Williams was a complete monster. You believe he had the most receptions and receiving yards. But unfortunately, that didn't work out because Sony Vegas was screwing up. And I'm not really a fan of any other editing software, so live commentaries it is. But be sure to let me know how you guys like these. If you don't, I can try to find another recording software, which probably won't happen. But doesn't hurt to try, but you see me get a nice five-yard reception right there. We are in field goal range, but of course we do want the touchdown right here. I may motion myself out and just go straight, see if Peyton Manning can hit me over the middle. Got bumped, but another drops past this game. That's like six already. That one, surprisingly, wasn't by Eric Decker. That was by some Hill guy. I have no clue who he is, but third and five. Hopefully we can get this first down. Peyton Manning, ooh, fuck me. I just missed a big block on that play, and we end up getting held to a field goal. Uh, honestly, I don't get why they make me watch this. Yeah, I believe they make you watch punts, too, if you're on offense. And he misses an easy field goal. That was like a 45-yard field goal. 47-ish. Thought Matt Prater would be able to hit that one, but he doesn't. And we end up holding Pittsburgh to another field goal. That is, if he can make this. This is about a 49-yard field goal. I'm not sure who their kicker is, but he knocks that down with ease. And now the game is only one point, and it is six to seven. Broncos lead, and we have the return. Hopefully he kicks this to me so I don't have to try to block for this guy, which I do. And he doesn't even return it, so we are right at the 20-yard line, up by one with just under seven minutes left, and we are going right to the passing game once again. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, I really don't run the ball much. And that is picked off by Ike Taylor. Try to get the tackle, but he cuts it back, and that's a pick six. No, Peyton Manning stops him at the five-yard line. This should be an easy seven per, for Pittsburgh, which it is. And they're about to go up 13-7 to seven if they can knock in this extra point. And they barely took any time off the clock to do that, so they probably did it in about two plays. So we are down six points now with 6.20 left in the second quarter. The kickoff, and once again, it's kicked to this guy, but the back of the end zone, so it really doesn't matter. Once again, we're on the 20-yard line, but this time we are starting off with a run. Hopefully we can keep the run game going. If this is good block and I should be able to get yards off this, uh, if he held that block a little longer. But I do get a nice eight yard gain nonetheless. So 
second and two on the 28, just under six minutes now, and we're going right back to the passing. But what the hell kind of route is Justin doing? Oh, the motion. And anybody I got to block? Nope. And nice play right there to Jacob Tammy for about a 20-yard pickup. No, 10-yard, my bad. And we are going right to the fucking passing again. And once again, I am blocking. And that is a nice one-handed grab by Jacob Tammy. Two straight receptions for him. Both of 10 plus yards, or 10 exactly. And we are going to the passing again. But this time I actually have a route, so I may be able to get the ball, which I'm wide open. And I get about 8 yards there. Five receptions, 41 yards. So I'm having a decent receiving game for a running back. My guy's role, I guess, is more like a Darren Sproles. Wish it was more fucking Adrian Peterson so I could get the ball more. We see a nice pass to Hill. I have no clue who that guy is, but you see him getting his face sat on right there. But I believe that was... I don't even know who that was, to be honest. But I'm wide open on the block and release. He picks up that block. I may... Ooh, I get pushed out at the 12-yard line. But now, that is six receptions, 64 yards on the game. And we are passing again. You'd think they'd give the ball to the running back more here, but I guess they trust Peyton Manning. And nobody is open, but oh, I didn't even see Eric Decker, and he ends up getting into the end zone. And Larry Foot was out, I believe, is injured. Couldn't really see his number, but they waste no time and go straight down the field and score once again. So we are down 20 to 14, just about to head into the second half. If we can put at least a touchdown up, we'll have the lead. Field goal will work because we'll only be down by a field goal, but it's kicked to me. Let's see if we can try to take this to the house. I see open field, and I fumble, but Jim Leonard gets it, or Leonhard, whatever his last name is. And we're going straight to the passing game to try to get into the end zone once again this game. Probably going to hit Roy Williams. And yes, they do, and he gets about six yards there. We're on the 31-yard line. I believe we have yeah, all three timeouts just over a minute. We should be able to at least get into field goal range. I'm not open here. Just over a minute. And here you see the passing stats. We are leading in everything except interceptions over Ben Roethlisberger, which he doesn't have any. And Peyton Manning has that one to uh, Ike Taylor, I believe, which got him right down to the five-yard line for an easy touchdown. But here we're doing a block and release. Don't even got a block. And it is knocked down by Larry Foote. So we got third and 21. I have no clue how we got 21. But we are running, so if I can make a nice big play here, we'll be able to get into field goal position. Ah, oh, if that lineman was faster. Oh. And like I said earlier, I honestly don't get why they make me watch the punt. Same with the field goal, but... Colquitt's punt is up, and I don't get why they made the punts look like spiral passes in this game. It doesn't make any sense to me, but yeah. And we have 10 seconds left, and I'm going to get a punt return. I may be able to get us into field goal position or possibly take this to the house. I'm pretty good at returning punts if it's kicked right and the blocking is right. That is if they ever kick it. We also do have two timeouts, so we can probably run a play after this. And possibly get a timeout, depending on how quick the ball is passed or ran, whatever we do. But for some reason, this guy isn't kicking it. He finally does. <laughs> probably going to fake right and go left on this, or the complete opposite, but I'm taking down right away. Three seconds left, so we're probably not going to get anything off this play. I'm just going to give myself a route and move up to the line of scrimmage. And go deep with them. I can't even go in motion though, so never mind. And he is sacked anyway, so it doesn't even matter. James Harrison wasn't having any of that. So we head into halftime down six points, but we do have the ball. So hopefully we can put a touchdown up on this drive. It is kicked to me, and that is not that good of a kick, so I'm we're gonna get good field goal position anyway, but I fumble again. That is three fumbles this game alone. Not having too great of a game, as you can obviously see. 
three fumbles is not what I want to do. And I get tackled by four people right away. The offensive line really needs to start blocking for me so I can get some runs in. But we're doing a mesh here. And that is knocked down by, I don't even know who that is, but third and 12, obviously we're going to pass the ball here, try to get the first down so we can get into the end zone. Hopefully he can hit Hill over the middle, or me possibly, I'm wide open, nothing, ooh, but I drop it for the third time in this game. Uh, obviously I have to put my hands up eventually, so I need at least like 70 catching. I believe right now with the balance, you're at like 60, which really isn't good. There's probably, like, Terrell Pryor probably has better catching than me in this game. But Colquitt's punt is up. And again, it looks exactly like a spiral, and that's caught at the 15, and he is taken down at the 33. So a good return by Jericho Cotre, I believe that was. And they don't get no points on this drive, which is really good, because that could have put us in a bad position down two possessions. And we are just waiting on the punt once again. Probably not going to get anywhere on this play. Hopefully, I, or thankfully, I didn't fumble again. Once again, we are going straight to the passing, which really isn't a surprise. Spin dinner. Oh, it did work, but I just got laid out by Troy Palomalu right there. Seven receptions, 70 yards, so I'm averaging 10 yards exactly per catch. And we got a nice run play right here. I could probably get some nice yards off this with the right blocking. And I take it six or seven yards right there. Nine rushes, 42 yards. Not that bad. I would like to get a few more carries in. But a block and release here. I'm guarded. Oh, but I'm wide open over the middle. And he is sacked by Hayward. Or no, Brett Kiesel. And we have a second and 17. Our line really needs to step up with the blocking and help. They do a quick pass to Jacob Tam, and he is having a great game. Four receptions, 74 yards. We got a third and seven right here. Which I'm open, and I thankfully catch it this time and don't drop it. So I got C. Peyton Manning sacks, six, or stats, 64 completion, 251 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. So he's having a pretty good game besides that interception, which if he didn't throw that, we would be winning. And I'm wide open again, and I just get laid out. Jesus. If I could have got past that guy, I was easily gone right there. But unfortunately, I couldn't, and I just get knocked. See a key block right there, but he'll end up dropping the pass because he was hit. So we got a third and three. And we are going right to the passing game. But I got a play action block and release. Hopefully we can get this. And I'm stuck. He dumps it to Tammy. No, it's not even Tammy. It's our fullback. And he doesn't even react to try to catch that pass. So, another foul drive that we get zero points on. Hopefully we can get this lead. And they don't score here. That's probably going to be a touchback. Yeah. Kicked right out of the back of the end zone. Hopefully they don't score, and they do. It's eight points. So they went for two, so we are down two possessions now. Exactly two touchdowns and two extra points. And I have no blocking on this kick return because everybody went out field. And I just spun the shit out of Larry Foot. That's not even Larry Foot, but that guy spun it. He just fell right down. But here we go, we're starting on the 25-yard line, 2.43 left in the third. It's only two possessions, so we can do it. I'm wide open, a big block right there, nothing but open field in front of me. I just got to outrun this guy, and I do, and I take it in for seven points. Well, six, but with the extra point, if unless we miss it, we'll get seven. So they end up putting another seven points on the scoreboard. We cannot catch a break here. Our defense is not playing good at all. Letting up 35 points to an aging Steelers offense, besides Mike Wallace, but we should not be giving up this much 
this many points to the Steelers. They're not even that great. But hopefully we can do something with this kick return. I see open field. I'm going to take this. Nothing in front of me. I should have an easy return right here. We are at the 20, the 10, 5, and that is an easy touchdown to put us down another possession. Hopefully our defense can step up this time and actually stop the Steelers offense, which they do, thankfully. And we are here with the punt return. Let's see if we can get two straight returns to the house. I'm just waiting on the punter to kick the ball. And it is up. Decent kick. If I can get to the left side, I should be able to take this. And uh, the spin screwed me over because it slowed me down. Should have juked or something. But we got good field position. 30-yard line. 7.35 left in the fourth. We are down seven points. Touchdown ties the game. And I'm wide open. Oh, shit. Oh, nothing but wide open field in front of me. Hopefully I can outrun Ike Taylor, which I don't. He pushes me out of bounds at the 22-yard line. I'm having a phenomenal reception game because nobody is blocking me in the flats or guarding me. They're just leaving me wide open. And that is going to be picked off a stupid play by me right there. Hopefully I can catch him, which I should be able to. He's a linebacker. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay. That was a complete foul. I was holding A for the assist, and my guy just ran right past him. So I just screwed up right there. And now we are down two possessions again. Probably shouldn't even have called for that, but I was feeling cocky because I just scored in like three big plays straight. Or I got three like big plays straight. I was just going to go out of the back of the end zone. So we got just under seven minutes. We're down two possessions. This game is still in reach, but it's going to be hard with a good Steelers defense. I'm just going to stop calling for it, probably, unless I'm wide open there. I didn't even call for that, and I take it down to the 39-yard line. And my reception game is a little too high right now. Shouldn't have 12 receptions, 231 yards with a running back, but to help us win, I'll do anything. We get a short play right there. I see Peyton Manning, 25 for 39, 401 yards. So he, he is having a good game besides two picks, which one of them were my fault, so I can't really blame him. We see we got a 50% third down conversions. Ooh, did he get in? Yes, he did. And that is a first down clutch catch by Sean Marino right there. If we didn't get that first down, I don't even know what happened because we'd have to put it on our defense once again. And they probably wouldn't have came up big right there. A nice dump off to Caldwell for about 20 yards. We are now in field goal range, but we don't want a field goal. We're going to go for the touchdown. Even if we get a fourth down, I'm going to go for it. And we are going to score this touchdown. He hits him over the middle once again. Caldwell, nine yards. He comes in and is just putting up numbers, I guess. <laughs> I had no clue what I was going to say there. We see Peyton Manning, five completed passes in a row, which is really good for us. Drops back once again. That guy is open, but an awful pass throws it behind him. We got a third and one. Thankfully, I have a route here, so I'm going to try to get to the end zone. Do everything I can to get to the end zone. Dumps it to that guy, and I'm awful at blocking, if you couldn't tell already. Unless I'm just standing in front of the quarterback and I have to pick someone up real quick. Besides that, I cannot block to save my life. So we got second and ten. What are we on? So let me skip that. We are on the 15-yard line. 3.33 left. So we have to score before the three-minute mark. Or else it's going to be tough on our defense. They try to stop them within a minute. Peyton Manning going down to the three, that looks like, and it is caught, but it's a four-yard line. Jacob Tammy, five receptions, 86 yards, and we are going right to our running back, Monte Ball. I'm going to try to cut this outside right behind Roy Williams, and it's going to work, but I cannot get into the end zone. We are on the two-yard line. Ryan Clark with the clutch hit, stopping us at the two, and we are going right back to Monte Ball with the pitch. 
I'm gonna audible this and try to go right up the middle here, which I can, and I end up getting into the end zone, putting us down seven points now. Hopefully our defense can come up big, and they do. We are down seven points, two minutes and four seconds left, right before the two minute warning. This punt return is gonna put us right at it. And I'm gonna try to get us good field position to get us this tie game. It is an awful pun by him. And I get down to the 42 yard line, so good field position. We have three timeouts, a minute 56. We should be able to put this in and tie up the game. And maybe we can get the ball back. I'm open, I'm calling for it. He doesn't block nobody, but I get us down to their territory. 43 yard line, clock running, first and 10. Here I gotta do a block and release. On these I never even end up blocking, but... They knock it down to Roy Williams and he goes for about 20 yards. 19 exactly. A minute 30, clock running, and we are doing two fade routes and two fucking Hail Mary routes, streaks, whatever you wanna call them. And Peyton Manning fades, throws a pick. But you see me get my first tackle in the NFL right there. If our defense can't come up, we're going to end up losing this. And, whoa, what happened? I guess they got a fumble or a pick, which really is lucky. So we got a minute five. We're on their 10. They're going straight to Monte. He bumps me. I break off it and take it into the end zone. A nice run right there by Monte Ball. Tying up the game. So let's see what happened. Yeah, fumble recovery by Elvis Doomerville. So we got really lucky right there, and we end up getting the ball with 15 seconds left. So if we can come up big here, if I can get a good return, we may be able to get in the field goal range. We're going to be down to like 7 seconds after this return, probably less. But I am stopped right at the 40. 7 seconds, like I said. I don't know why we're doing a Hail Mary. I think this is dumb. I'm going to try to get over the middle. Give myself a route, just do a streak. I get over the middle, get down to here, call a timeout, one second left. And we're going to go for this field goal. And he makes it, and we end up winning the game by three points. So we won 45-42. to 42. We'll just go through and show the stats real quick before I end this video. You see the score, our total offense, 546 yards, 56 rushing. So I didn't really have a good running game, but our passing yards, 490, 24 first downs. My punt and kick return yards, our total yards, uh, turnovers, we didn't really do that good in. Our third down, 6 for 10, they got 10 for 19. And then you just have all of this. The time of possession, we 13 more minutes, but... We'll show the stats here. Peyton Manning with a 94 quarterback rating, almost 95, 33 for 50, 512 yards, 66 completion percentage with three touchdowns, three picks. And then me, I had 12 rushes, 56 yards, a 4.6 average with two touchdowns, three fumbles, which is awful, and I'm cold. Our receiving yards, you had me, 14 receptions, which I'm going to try to lower that the next game, hopefully, and I won't call for it as much. But I had two touchdowns, 268 yards. Then you had Eric Decker and Jacob Tammy playing phenomenal. Then the defense, the leading tackler was Joe Mays with nine. Jim Leonard with nine. And then DJ Williams with eight. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I should have another video tomorrow with a live come again. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought of this. But I'm out. Peace.